Hallelujah. I thank God in heaven. For he has accepted that I stand here on his holy altar. And I also thank the preachers, the, the leaders, for uh, go, getting together and allowing me to have this moment. My name is Luzindana James. I am a man. I'm married with one wife. I have six children and one grand grandson. I thank God for all because he has done it. We're going to hear the word of God. That's in a good book. In uh, Psalms, uh, uh, 108, or oh, 128, uh, first uh, the line 1 to 4. I ask uh, evangelist Zaburi, to read for us. Psalms 128, line 1 to 4. Zaburi, Che ibjana na mirongo biri numunani, kumurongo ambere kugeza kuri kane. Ndiri mboyo mwiduga. Hairwa uwa, uwa ha uhoraho, Wese, akagendera mu nzira ziwe ibikorwa by'amaboko yawe bizogutunga eh, bizogutunga uzonezerwa uzohirwa umugore wawe azoba nk'umuzabibu wa macane subire mu kuri gatatu umugore wawe Azoba nk'umuzabibu wa macane ari haruguru mu nzu yawe abana bawe bazoba nk'utugemwe twa Elayo bakidijwe bakikijwe ameza yawe kuri kane uko ni ku muntu yama yubaha uwaraho azohirwa amena we're going to read in english psalms 128 Line one to four. Blessed are all who feel, who fear the Lord, who walk in the in obedience to Him. You will eat the fruits of your labor. Blessings and prosperity will be yours. Your wife will be like a fruit of a fruitful vine within your house. Your children will be like olive shoots around your tables. Yes, this will be the blessings. For the men who fear the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 The, the word of God tells us. Blessed are all who fear the Lord. Blessed are all who fear the Lord. Blessed is he who fear the Lord. It doesn't say that it's just a man that's uh, blessed. But it tells us that blessed is he who fears the Lord. Who walks in obedience to him. You will eat the fruits of your labors. Blessings and prosperities will be yours. Your wife will be like a, fr a fruitful vine within your home. That person that his wife will be like a fruitful vine within his house. 
And his children will be like olive shoots around his tables. In that's how, uh, and that will be the blessings of the men who fear God. Praise Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed is he who fears the Lord. And uh, who walks in his obedience. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That person, his wife, will be a fruitful, will be a, a fruitful vine. May the Lord be glorified. And us as we're here. In whatever state you're in. Whether you are a singer. Obey God. As a, a, a Christian. Obey God. Are you, uh, uh, whether you are a prayer warrior, obey God. Whether you are a little ch child, obey God. Because the, uh, the road that we're all taking is a very rough and tough one. It's a road that we, we, we should take with, uh, by obeying God. You uh, might be among the singers. And uh, things might not go uh, the way you expected within the choir. Uh, you must obey God. You might be within your home. And if you, do, uh, you disobey God, you are. Uh, wherever you are, you have to obey God. Obeying God is the most important thing in all that you would do. If you obey God, you will see heaven. Just as everything uh, of God, all the things of God are based on obedience. When you obey God in everything, God uh, rejoice over you. While we are in this journey, this journey of going to heaven, it's not uh, easy, it's a tough one. But we will be enabled in it by obeying God. Whether you are a woman in your home, uh, obey what's uh, the rules within your home. When you obey uh, your uh, the things within your home, you will be obeying your home. As a man, you should uh, obey your home. You will be obeying God. Obeying God is in different forms. Uh, wherever, how, how we are, we know. Uh, the, the, the word of God tells us that we should all be prepared for the journey of heaven. Uh, so that when we, we are on our way to heaven, you will be enabled to get there by obe obeying God. This morning, the word of God, it's telling you that you should obey God so you can see the kingdom of heaven. What I wish upon you is for you to obey God so that you can see the kingdom of God. The word of God tells us that whoever obeys God that he will be blessed. 
the person that obeys God. Whatsoever you wish for, you shall receive. The person that obeys God. You will, uh, be, you will see all the wealth that you desire. Uh, all the money that you uh, desire. The person that obeys God. You will have kids that will uh, be educated. If you obey God. All your things shall be, uh, you shall prosper in all your things. As we're here today. Any, all of us that are here today. All the words that are being said here, they are, they are for you. So don't uh, close your ears. But this time, tell your God, you and your heart, Tell, your, uh, tell God that God uh, help me in this journey so I can obey you so that I can see your kingdom. The word of God I am the one saying it here but it's God from heaven that's speaking unto you. And as for today, the word of God that God gave me to speak with you guys, it's this. Uh, prepare your heart. In all your doings, obey God. So we can all be together in heaven. And all of us, as we're here, we will get there. Uh, ever since you received salvation as a child, up to 60 to 50 years, and you're still in the house of God. And you have uh, secured or uh, secured yourself from uh, the outside things. The journey that you have taken. Don't waste it. But uh, keep on. So that you can get uh, to the end. And God bless you. The word of God that God gave me to share with you. This is it. And those Imana, who have heard it, God bless you. Amen. Amen. I ask.